going to demonstrate the basic features of Kelvin using a model of an electrical cable that's insulated with rubber insulation. We'll begin by solving a static steady state model and then we'll illustrate a parametric that increases the thickness of the insulation in order to determine the critical insulation level. Now our cable, the conductor has a diameter of four centimeters and it has an insulation thickness of one centimeter. So we're going to first change the length units to centimeters and then we're going to change our view limits to make the workspace large enough to contain the model. So if we use values of plus and minus six, that will be adequate. And now we'll create the model, just two concentric circles, centered at zero, zero. The conductor, its radius is two centimeters. Then we'll create another circle at zero, zero, with a radius of three centimeters. Now we'll begin to assign physical properties. We're going to assume that the ambient temperature is 30 degrees centigrade, and we'll assume that the convection heat transfer from the surface of the rubber coefficient will be 3 watts per meter squared Kelvin. And then we'll assign some material properties. We'll assign rubber to the insulation region and copper to the conductor region. Now since this cable is carrying current, it's dissipating heat and the volume heat is at a level of 20 watts per meter. And now we'll run the solver. And first we'll do a plot of the uh, heat flux using an arrow plot. And you can see that at the center of the cable that's where the heat flux is the lowest. It increases steadily as you reach the boundary between the rubber and the copper and then it decreases. We'll also do a plot of the temperature in a graph right through the cable from one edge of the rubber to the other. And this shows an autograph window. We can see that at the edge of the rubber it's at about 65 degrees and inside the temperature throughout the copper is very uniform at 75 degrees. Now we'll perform a parametric analysis we'll switch into parametric setup mode and we'll use a scale geometry parametric which we'll call scale over 21 steps and we will scale the outer boundary of the rubber insulation and we'll increase it by a factor of 1.8 over those 21 steps. So you can see that we're having a uniform increase in the thickness of the rubber over those 21 steps. And now we'll assign some post-processing. First thing we'll do, we're going to create an animation. So I'll set the animation feature on. And then we'll go to the analysis menu, open the field results. And first we'll calculate a temperature right at the boundary between the rubber and the copper. So we'll take a value at a point and we'll use this point right here. And then we'll do again a Q field arrow plot on a plane. Now, one thing we should do is validate the parametric just to make sure that everything's been set up properly. Now you can see that the outer boundary is increasing uniformly as we expected. Now rather than solve all these 21 models, I've already done this in advance, so I'll just show you the results. So we now have the parametric results table, and we can play the animation of the arrow plot. And lastly, we'll look at a graph of how the temperature changed. So you can see that 
at around step 12, that's where you have the minimum temperature. So for the first level of insulation where you have a one centimeter thickness, you have the highest temperature. As you increase the thickness of the insulation, that also provides more area for the rubber to transmit heat. So that's why you see the temperature decreasing. And then you reach the critical level. After that, it increases. And if we were to increase the level of insulation even more, then so would the temperature. I hope this gives you some idea of the capabilities of Kelvin.